was taken to the East Detective Division, where he is back in custody. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live there now with an update on how the sun all unfolded this morning. Maggie. Sarah, we heard from U.S. Marshals this morning. It had been a long 10 days for those guys. They had been tracking Hearst uh, throughout this process, and they had a tip call from a family member. They were supposed to be scheduling a peaceful surrender, but missed the deadline, and that's when Marshals knew they had to move in. Transported into East Detective Division this morning, surrounded by U.S. Marshals, was 18-year-old prison escapee Amin Hurst. This morning at approximately 8.30 a.m., the 10-day manhunt for Amin Hurst came to an end. Hurst was captured in a vehicle outside one of the suspected hiding spots along the 6100 block of Washington Avenue in Southwest Philadelphia. The Marshal Service had been hot on his trail, talking to family members who were supposed to hand him over, missing three deadlines to do so. And another deadline had passed right before sunrise, and at that point I decided we need to get our investigators back on the street. We didn't know if this was a stall tactic. That's when they moved in. We weren't sure what the mind frame of the family was. We didn't want to give them the benefit of the, fit of the doubt and lose a residence he was possibly in. Hearst was at the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Complex being held for four murders and two shootings. On May 7th, he escaped along with 24-year-old Nasir Grant by cutting a hole in the fence. The two were on the run, but not for long. Grant was caught May 11th. Three others were charged with aiding the men in escaping and hiding. Warrants were going to be issued. Nobody was playing. And they certainly were not playing this morning when they came to the 6100 block of Washington Avenue to arrest Hearst. We're also told that Hearst's brother was taken into custody, but it's not clear if he was wanted for questioning or if he'll be facing any charges. We'll, of course, look for updates from the mayor's uh, office and the U.S. Marshals.